Hi, I'm Matt with Cool Metal. I'm going to show you how to install a Cool Metal luggage rack base on your Can-Am Spider. Starting with the uh, stock tail cone in place. I've already removed the single screw that uh, goes through the plastic inner fender into the tail cone. Snap your tail cone off. And I've already installed the frame extension for your Cool Metal luggage rack and I'm going to show you that up close. This frame extension piece is a C-channel. It's got three slots in it that take 8mm bolts that go uh, into the luggage rack base to secure the base to the frame of your bike. <clears throat> this channel is installed by simply sliding it up into the frame of your spider. And uh, this is a CB antenna that I've got installed on my luggage rack base that I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, but if you look up in the end of your frame is just a box and you slide this uh, C-channel up in there and inside there you can see the 6 millimeter bolt coming through the side of the frame that secures the uh, cool metal C-channel in place. That uh, bolt goes through a pre-existing hole in your frame. There's no drilling or tapping. You just slide the C-channel in, put the bolts in through the side, snug them down and that part of it's installed. In order to install the C-channel you will have to remove your plastic inner fender just to get your hand up in there and get those six millimeter bolts in and get a wrench on it. Once that's installed, just like you saw, your stock tail cone goes back on over top of the uh, frame extension piece. And then from there, I'll show you what it takes to install the luggage rack. <clears throat> this is the luggage rack base. And this is our optional passenger backrest. And this is the CB antenna I was referring to. And uh, on the bottom side of our base, there's an adapter bracket that's got three slots in it for the 8mm bolts I was referring to. You just set the base up on top here. Take your 8mm bolts that come with your kit. Drop them through the slots. Put the nuts on the bottom. Snug them all down. This whole uh, rack is adjustable so you can center it up perfectly on every installation from one spider to the next. You snug that all down. Then there's a, a little bracket that holds on the tail co cover and also uh, grabs onto the spider's plastic inner fender through this hole. There's a 6 millimeter button head that goes through here with a nut. Put that on. Then there's a uh, six millimeter flathead goes through the luggage rack, the top end of that bracket. Put that on. Take your four millimeter hex key, ten millimeter wrench, snug those down. Take your tail cover piece and that just drops right in place. I'm going to attach my CB antenna wire. And then there's a pair of uh, blunt and button heads. All my hardware is stainless, but all the production hardware will be black. It'll be black stainless. Put the two button heads in the tail cover, snug those down, and you're done. That's the luggage rack base installed from your stock tail cone. Let me show you this up close. <clears throat> what you've got here is uh, our, what we call the luggage rack base. It's got some holes in the side for your bungee hooks. Um, it's got our optional backrest installed, and of course my custom one-off. CB antenna that I was referring to is also installed on there. And uh, what I'd like to show you also to these tops, this is our uh, basic top we call it. Uh, it's got an attractive motif and also these holes also serve, serve as bungee hook holes. 
This is kind of an expansion plate for the top of your rack. That goes on with four six millimeter uh, flatheads. Uh, the holes are already tapped in the base except that. No drilling or tapping. We've also got our spider web plate. Another one of my favorites right here. This one's in black. Uh, you can get this stuff. The base colors are going to be black, but uh, of course we take care of anybody's custom builds and what they want. And uh, you can order this stuff up in any color you want. So there's a black uh, spiderweb top plate. But also like to show you our trunk mount plate right here. It's got four studs in it that are already uh, installed. Those four studs go in these four holes in this base. And this trunk adapter plate will mount a Givi trunk or a uh, Victory trunk or really any, anything that you want to mount on the back would simply be a matter of uh, drilling the appropriate mount holes in this adapter plate. Once this adapter plate is installed to your luggage rack base, taking the whole trunk on and off of your spider is exactly the same procedure that we just went through. You pop your tail cone off, take your whole trunk with that this whole base attached to it, drop it on, put the three 8 millimeter bolts and then the, the tail cover plate on there. Now I'd like to show you one more thing we've done and uh, I've installed the uh, No Magic Triple Play uh, tail lights on here in the cool metal uh, small bullets and uh, I've done that because if you're carrying some large cargo or something that might droop down and cover up your tail lights, you've got some additional tail lights in here. So we are definitely recommending anybody putting the luggage rack on uh, to install the triple play units to enhance the rear end visibility and uh, definitely to be able to see the brake lights. Now you can see how good the Can-Am Spider wiring is. And usually you just give it a tap and it comes back on. Of course now it's not going to do it. But that's a loose tail light socket and uh, that I keep having trouble with that I suppose I need to fix. Um, <clears throat> but to finish up on these lights, uh, this is the cool metal small bullet light. Uh, it's, all, it's all billet. The slash cut bezels, they look really cool on here. There's also a bullet light adapter kit to mount these lights up on your spider. Those are on our website as well. That's a little billet aluminum piece that's designed specifically to fit in this plastic rear panel on your spider and uh, specifically to mount a bullet light. Now the No Magic Triple Play uh, LEDs fit right in our bullet lights, no modifications required. You just take the MR11 bulbs out and you drop the pucks in and uh, they're ready to go. So there you have it basically, that is the cool metal luggage rack system on a Can-Am Spider. <laughs>